Welcome to Mr. Bebop. Agatha Christie's famous Belgian detective, Hercule Poirot, features in a total of 33 of her 60 novels. If you're looking for an exciting Poirot novel, you can start right here with our top 10 list. At number 10, After the Funeral. The 24th novel featuring the Belgian detective. Set in the English country, the manor house of Enderby Hall. When a master of a Victorian mansion dies suddenly, his family gathers to pay their respects. And to collect their inheritance, of course. The atmosphere is shattered by his sister Cora's inconvenient question. But he was murdered, wasn't he? Everyone dismisses silly old Aunt Cora until she's brutally murdered. The extraordinary remark she made the previous day at her brother Richard's funeral suddenly takes on a chilling significance. Poirot is summoned by the family solicitor to unravel the mystery and investigate a family plagued by secrets, lies, and madness. And everybody has something to hide. At number 9, Five Little Pigs Poirot's 21st case Set in England with a murder having occurred 16 years before the novel starts. A young woman hires Poirot to prove that her mother didn't kill her father over a decade ago. Poirot investigates the long-closed case and starts to wonder if his client's mother was wrongfully convicted and hanged. There are five other suspects, and each of them has a very different take on the death of a famous artist. The stockbroker who went to market, the amateur herbalist who stayed at home, the three-time divorcee who had roast beef, the devoted governess who had none, and the disfigured sister who cried wee 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 all the way home. It is 16 years later, but Hercule Poirot just can't get that nursery rhyme out of his mind. Poirot has to comb through their accounts carefully to find out what really happened. Because even with five witnesses, no one's telling the whole truth. And things just aren't adding up. Number 8. Cards on the Table The Belgian detective is on the case alongside his friend Ariadne Oliver, Superintendent Battle, and Colonel Race. The story is set at a dinner party in England, but the crimes take place in other countries. Mr. Shaitana was famous as a flamboyant party host. Nevertheless, he was a man of whom everybody was a little afraid. He invites Poirot to a small dinner party at which she will also invite a group of murderers who have killed and gotten away with it. Or so they think. 
During dinner, Shaitana refers to various crimes and motives for murder, making his guests appear uneasy. After dinner, Shaitana sits alone by the fire in full view of the guests playing bridge. Only one of them must have sneaked over during play, as sure enough, Mr. Shaitana is dead. Number 7. Evil Under the Sun Poirot's 20th appearance and third trip to the English coast Set on the fictional smuggler's island off the coast of Devon When visiting a seaside resort while on holiday, Poirot observes a developing flirtation between two individuals who are both married to other people, an explosive situation that culminates in murder. It was not unusual to find the beautiful bronzed body of the sun-loving femme fatale Arlena Marshall stretched out on a beach face down. Only on this occasion, she was not sunbathing. She had been strangled. Could this apparent crime of passion have been something more evil and premeditated altogether? With drug smuggling, witchcraft, and a plethora of suspects, Poirot must break the perfect alibi to solve this coastal crime where the suspects include Arlena's husband, the man she was reportedly having an affair with, the jilted wife, and even her young stepdaughter, who all have plenty of motive. Number 6. Death on the Nile The Fourteenth Poirot Novel Written by Agatha Christie Although starting in England, the setting soon moves to Egypt where our characters and suspects are assembled. The beautiful heiress Lynette Ridgway has everything. Money, good looks, youth, and when she meets her best friend Jackie's fiancé, Simon Doyle, well, she wants him too. Shortly after, Lynette and Simon marry, and while on their honeymoon in Egypt, the jilted Jackie sets out to torment them with her presence. As tensions rise amongst the love triangle, Poirot tries to prevent a crime before it happens, as they all sail on an Egyptian river cruise. One night, everything goes awry when, in a drunken altercation, Jackie takes a shot at Simon, hitting him in the leg. However, it is soon discovered that in all the commotion of that evening, Lynette has also been shot, fatally. Number 5. Hercule Poirot's Christmas The 24th novel by Agatha Christie and the 17th one to include Our Little Belgian Detective. 
set in a country house in England over the Christmas period. It is Christmas Eve, and the tyrannical patriarch, old Simeon Lee, has invited his family, even the estranged ones, for a big family Christmas. The reunion is shattered by a deafening crash of furniture, followed by a high-pitched wailing scream. Upstairs, the old man is found in a locked bedroom, lying dead in a pool of blood, his throat slashed, and his diamond stolen. But when Hercule Poirot, who is staying in the village with a friend for Christmas, is called to investigate, he finds an atmosphere not of mourning, but of mutual suspicion. It seems everyone had their own reason to hate the old man. Number 4. The ABC Murders Poirot is joined once again by Captain Arthur Hastings in the 11th novel he features in. Set in England with various towns mentioned including Andover and Doncaster. A serial killer challenges Poirot. The great detective receives a number of taunting letters and suspects a lethal motive behind them. Poirot and Hastings travel the country for clues as several seemingly unconnected individuals are murdered in alphabetical order, the killer apparently choosing victims based solely on their name and location, leaving an ABC railway guide beside each body. With each murder, the killer is getting more confident but leaving a trail of deliberate clues to taunt the proud Hercule Poirot might just prove to be his first and fatal mistake. Number 3. The Murder of Roger Rackroyd The third novel featuring the Belgian sleuth, Agatha Christie brings him out of his would-be retirement. Known for its startling reveal, this is the book that changed Agatha Christie's career and made her a literary superstar. Set in the peaceful village of King's Abbot, England, Poirot is enjoying his retirement and anonymity while he puts his mind to the simple pleasure of growing vegetable marrows. This peaceful existence is not to last, however, when a murder is committed and he is called in to help. Roger Rackroyd was a man who knew too much. He knew the woman he loved had poisoned her first husband. He knew someone was blackmailing her. And now he knew she had taken her own life with a drug overdose. Soon the evening post would let him know who the mystery blackmailer was. But Ackroyd was dead before he'd finished reading it. Stabbed through the neck where he sat in the study. Is his murder connected with the two earlier deaths? A village doctor partners with Poirot who quickly realized he is more suited to detecting than gardening. With a massive inheritance, stolen money, secret relationships, and illegal drugs thrown into the mix, there are plenty of mysteries to solve in this case. At 
Number two. Curtain, Poirot's Last Case This is the final Poirot novel, but we see him happily reunited in this novel with his old friend Hastings, whom he last appeared with in Dumb Witness over 35 years before. Poirot and Hastings return to where it all began, at Stiles Court, which is now a boarding house. They are now old men, with Poirot confined to a wheelchair and suffering from health problems, and the loyal Hastings, now a widower. Poirot confides to Hastings that one of their fellow guests is a serial killer, and that he is determined to track down this murderer known only as X. Tensions are high amongst the residents of the boarding house. But as the death toll rises, are these demises suicides, natural deaths, or murders? And at number one, Murder on the Orient Express. Probably the most famous of all Agatha Christie stories, this one is a classic. One of Poirot's greatest roles, the little detective's eighth novel, and he doesn't disappoint, proving he really is the greatest detective in the world. Traveling on the Paris Simplon Orient Express, we start in Istanbul as Poirot begins his journey back to London from crime-solving in the Middle East. The luxurious train is surprisingly full for this time of the year. Hercule Poirot is approached by an American tycoon who wants the Belgian sleuth to protect him. Taking an instant dislike to the man, he declines. And soon afterwards, the unpleasant fellow is found brutally murdered in his compartment, stabbed multiple times, his door locked from the inside. The train has a diverse group of characters on board, from all walks of life, and there are almost too many clues and suspects. With the Orient Express stopped in its tracks by a snowdrift, the passengers are isolated with a killer in their midst. Poirot must identify the culprit in case he or she decides to strike again. Do you agree with our list? Let us know in the comments below what your favorite Hercule Poirot novels are. Thank you for watching. See you again next time.